There you go. Yo, guys, we're here at Micro Center in Indianapolis, which means what? Which means it is much cooler than Texas, and I'm very excited because I'm not sweating balls immediately. And, uh, they just opened a couple days ago. We are gonna do a meet and greet at uh, this place. And also we're gonna check out some 3D printers. We're gonna check out some other stuff they have here. I'm very excited. I always go to Micro Center, big, big Micro Center guy. And then they reached out about this kind of stuff and I'm like, dude, yes, I'm down, I'm there. So let's go check out the new store. Let's go. Can I take a photo? Yes, you can. <laughs> Am I the first one here? Uh, no, well, there's been people like around. Yeah, I was like the one person in your chat that said I'm from Indianapolis. <laughs> That's the one guy. <laughs> it's technology. You can walk and the door opens on its own. It's amazing. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too. My name's David. Yeah, David. Nice. We met at BlizzCon one time. Oh, we did. I was just yeah. talking about BlizzCon. Really? Yeah. BlizzCon was great. Are you going again this year? No. Oh, okay. I'm Maybe going again. <laughs> Would you sign my Micro Center mug? I will, actually. Yeah? A Micro Center mug is sick. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Yeah. Six times voted best retailer by readers at the Top Consumer Magazine. Nice, very good. I appreciate it. What are you doing here in Indy? I'm checking out the new Micro Center. Oh. Good uh, seeing you again yeah. since BlizzCon. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'll see you, man. Josh? Yep. What's going on, man? How's it going? Chat, this is Josh. Josh is our uh, expert, the uh, associate that's going to help us today. Uh, Josh is going to show us around some stuff, especially with like 3D printers. That's going to be like the, the main focus. Uh, obviously, we just came back from Classic Games Fest. They had like a lot of the different booths and stuff. A lot of that stuff's 3D printed. So a lot of yep. people like have their own businesses now. They start on like Etsy or something else, and 3D printing has become like this massive, massive thing. We're going to check all that out. Oh, yeah. No, Josh, we've, well, we've got your uh, your logo up and ready. We're just going to go through, Sick. change a couple colors, and then we'll get that printed up. Sick. Let's get yeah, Let's look yeah. at that. Is that right, here? Right, right over here. Wait, so this is the knowledge bar. Yeah, so this is the knowledge bar. Look at this. OK, so I hadn't seen this yet. This is like, so this is the knowledge board. This is where all the knowledge comes into fruition. When you go back to build your own and select your parts and everything, we'll oh. build it in store. Oh. So that's where you kind of bring stuff up like this. Any kind of uh, iPhone repairs, any, anything like that. Oh, repairs, yep. Yeah. So do you guys, uh, so can I, can I see the actual like, how you guys like do the 3D printing? Yeah, Cause, no, cause absolutely. I, wanna, I actually want to get a 3D printer. We've already, on. we've actually kind of already, oh, got, this your, is already got your logo here. Look at this. So this is just, this is how it's gonna look based. Yeah, sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. And you can set the colors. Yes, we can. So we've got the fill. So the first thing we do is we just pop that down. Wait, so it's literally like paint? Yep, pretty much. Wait, 3D printing is easy. Well, yes and no. It's something that you kind of get used to as you go on. Um, this is more based on a new, one of the newer programs, especially since this is a bamboo. A lot of 3D printers only print in one color, whereas the bamboo labs that we're using today is actually going to print up to four. So our three colors are going to be right here that we're, we're going to print your uh, logo in. So we're going to have the black as your base, and then we're going to have your white, which will be the OTK, and then we've got the silk gold that will be the crown. Ooh, sick. So yeah, that's going to look awesome. You're doing like a paint bucket on each part that has like a like that, that's smooth, that has and like, then yeah. once it's hard, you just do it again. Exactly. And so then we we're just gonna leave the OTK, make sure we get the fill in here. Dude, this is nuts actually. And then gold. Okay. And we'll start. Guys, we're not gonna guys. Anything that we 3D print will be appropriate. We're not 3D printing anything inappropriate. We've been 3D printing Today. a lot of Pokemon ourselves. So we've got... I, I saw... Yeah, uh, we've got some Charmanders, Bulbasaur's, Eevees. Yeah. Printed a Char Charizard, Hi. and it was okay. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Hi. Talamasca. Oh, hey! hey! Nice. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Hi, chat. Oh, spam it's White Hardos. <laughs> chat, yeah. just spam White Hardos all the time. Primes. <laughs> So I made a joke when you guys did this game. Yes, that's hilarious. And I told you that I was going to print it out and get it signed. I wanted you to have it Dude, <laughs> Chad, do you remember this? <laughs> so we played a we played a game of kickball with like, it was like Ludwig. I just bought like a helmet and pads and stuff. And I was like, I'm just going to show up in football pads, the kickball thing. And I couldn't even get my hands over my head. It was so bad, but it, it was, was hilarious. Was yeah, I will sign this. Heck yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. No, I was watching you in the stream yesterday, and you were like, I'll be in Indianapolis. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. That's so great. Yeah. Do you want to get a picture? Yes. Yeah, let's do <laughs> oh it. Um, 
Oh, like, my emotional support human is not here, so. <laughs> I'm so shut, 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 shut. That's all good. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Uh, enjoy Indiana and the, the hazy hell that it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hey, hey, this is better than Texas right now. Yeah, Texas like, is brutal. Texas is on fire. Yeah. Um, if you're here in a couple of weekends, uh, Gen Con is going on. It's a big gaming and board game, board game convention. Wait, Gen Con? Yeah. I feel like all the conventions, they just like packed them into like the same like month. Yeah. Because there's there's Linus is happening soon. Where I'm, I'm gonna go to Linus. I'm I'm trying to go to Linus chat. I gotta get it figured out. I just want to stop yeah. in, say hello. No, of course. Thank yeah. You. Here, give me up. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great meeting you. Chat's probably like weirdo. <laughs> we'll see you guys. later. Hi, right, bye. Cool. <laughs> awesome. So after everything, this is this is what our uh, yeah, of course. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Day. See you later. So so basically, what's this program called? So this is Bamboo Labs uh, splicing uh, software. Okay. So Bamboo Labs is the brand of of three D yeah, printer. So that's the one we're going to be using today. Okay. Hey, you want to get a picture? Well, my son and my cousin are huge fans. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm glad you know because I'm getting his autograph right for you. He's like, yes! <laughs> so, yeah, I would totally love like, a couple autographs and a picture for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I'm huge into 3D printing too. I love it. Oh, I nice. love my 3D printers. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm always like, I was like, 3D printing is cool, but I don't know anything about it. And I've like I've been like wanting to get one recently, but I'm like I don't know how they work. Thank you so much. Nice. Here, yeah, I'll sign it. Yes, I'm a cop. Great. I call my kid. He's like, Mom, we know him. I'm like, <laughs> we watch him. I'm like, all right, well, I'm getting what I can for you. There you go. There's one. There you go. Oh, awesome. Thank you nice. so much. Yeah, Just know of you have two fans that are gonna be really happy with these. <laughs> nice. No, I'm glad. Thank you. Cool. Very good. Yo, what's up? Hey, sick. You. Sick. Can you sign my badge? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a huge Miz kid, so. Can I can I sign over your own name? Hell yeah. Can we just call you <laughs> yes, S Man? Yes, you can. <laughs> and then I want a picture with you. <laughs> I'm screaming in right my head. <laughs> sick. <laughs> uh, here, I want a. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Why don't you put his name tag on? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, dude. What do y'all do here? Uh, how's Miz doing? He's good. Yeah. Yeah. He seems like he's going through a lot. I know the whole Maya situation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sick. Yeah, Hell dude. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so what's up. Nice. Hey, if you're ever interested in purchasing any pre built or anything, my name's Miz. Hey, this guy's welcome. trying to get his commission too. You have a Welcome to Micro Center. <laughs> You sign my card real fast. Yeah, yeah, you can sign it for my name too if you want. That's fine. What's hey, up? what's up, dude? Nice. Look at the Camp Canute shirt. Good to meet you. Look at that. Picture. Oh, yeah, let's get a picture. Let's get a picture. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Awesome. I appreciate that, man. We might as well just meet and greet walking around, though. <laughs> Whatever works, you know. Hey, dude, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, of course I can meet you, man. How's it going? Good to meet you, man. Yeah, dude. Nice. Appreciate it. Sick. Cool. It's good meeting you guys. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? How's it going? I'm are you? I'm good. I'm good. Dave and Buster's. Yes, sir. To be honest with me, are you it's on lunch? No. I'm <laughs> actually still on the work. I just came up here to get a graphics card. <laughs> Even better than not being on lunch. Like, no, I'm still on the clock. I just, I just came over here. <laughs> Appreciate awesome, it, man. man. Appreciate hey, it. man, come through. Hey, maybe I will. Awesome. Uh, that's great. And you'll see it loaded our file. So we're just going to hit select and kind of see what it is. All of our PLAs. And we just hit print now. This is sick. I don't fat finger it. Yeah. Dude, all these screens now. Dude, it's so, it's so hard. I'm like, I'm on my phone. Like, I'm trying to like change. Like, uh, like I'll, I'll try and go back on a song on Spotify, and I'm like doing this for like ten minutes. This is crazy. So you, you're gonna see it's heating up. It's gonna heat up to about 205 to 210 degrees Celsius. Like, 210 degrees Celsius. Holy. Okay. Yeah. Basically, when this cools, when it's good, mm -hmm. if I leave this in the car and it's like 100 degrees, it won't melt. Mm -mm. No. That's sick. I remember one time I had a copy of. It, it was. depends. I mean, if you live in Arizona right now, don't leave anything in the car. <laughs> yeah. See, I had like a VHS tape that I left in my mom's car whenever I was a kid. I had a. I think what it was yeah, see, was. We're, oh, we're already getting up to two, two twenty-five. Wait, that heats up so fast. Oh, oh frick! It's turning. Can, can we have this open? Does it allow you to? I don't know. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's really touchy. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Okay. How are you? Oh, Willow James! Oh, give me a hug. Good to see you. 
I even got these fucking customers. Nice! Look at that! Ooh. Sick! I know. Are those Terminators? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I ordered them because they look cool. They do look cool. Chat, we have real chatters showing up. These are not paid actors. I was paid to work. Stop being paid for this. <laughs> Thank you. Don't tell them. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you came. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Good to see you. One more time? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. We'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Cool. That was Willow Jane. A lot of this stuff, you just go online and you just find them? Yes. I just paid $26 for uh, a 18-inch Lilith from Diablo 4. And so it prints in four different pieces. And so, but, I mean, she's about that big and then I've got her. She's being painted right now. That's sick. Yeah. I mean that's way cheaper than getting like a like a right than paying for like the four hundred dollars for like a hot toys or something. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I think this kind of like printing stuff getting more like, like for consumers. Like people can just come to Micro Center and just buy buy like a three D printer. It's actually crazy because it's allowed for so many people. Like like we saw at the uh, at Classic Games Fest, and we'll see this at a lot of conventions throughout the year. Like people start their own businesses off of this stuff. They make collectibles yep. and they get stuff licensed even, and, and it turns into like a big deal. Uh, so people show up to these conventions and they do all this cool stuff and they they sell online at Etsy. So like this is like a huge opportunity for people to like start their, their own business at yep. home. We actually have a couple of the bigger conventions for stuff like that up in Fort Wayne. Uh -huh. um, they just had one, I believe, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. And we had the wall there behind you. I mean, it was, I mean, completely out of film. Really? Because people were just coming <laughs> in. Too, so yeah. it's been something where I mean, we've had to continue continuously replenish film yeah. these last couple weeks. Chat the the Indianapolis Micro Center actually just opened up two days ago. And so oh. now it's actually starting oh. on the it's starting on the logoing for the OTK. So it's gonna start OTK. It just, it just extruded all the white out. So. Wow, this thing's kind of cranking. Oh yeah, no, this one this one will crank it out. So how much uh, is this one? So this is this is a fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred dollar unit. This is like the big boy. Yeah, this is the this is the big boy. Bamboo Labs. I mean, they've kind of they're they're fresh on the scene, but I mean, they've already made a really nicely like highly requested product. Uh, so this is going to be similar to this, but this one will print TPU and ABS. Where this is going to be the first one you're really going to get to that has this magnetic plate. So this is super ease of use as opposed to the glass plate where you actually. So this is flexible. So you see the print here. What you're gonna do is flex it, and it's gonna come right off. Oh, that's sick! So something like pop that. them right off. Yep. Okay. And so then. Oh. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. <laughs> the magnet freaked me out. <laughs> that's too good. Dude. So yeah, and then it's what? just gonna, it just comes right off, and then yeah, it goes right back on. Cool. You get it right back up to the. It even kind of lines itself for you. Yeah. So these these. Like it's it's like already yeah so it'll full, it'll full articulate and everything it just depends on how the file is designed and uh, how it's spliced out in program. Yeah. 3D printing is crazy. Yeah. No, I mean there are people that 3D print car parts and they do make uh, carbon fiber filament too. So uh, it's something that people print out. I mean, especially on the giant um, like industrial size. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to, you could print out hoods to cars. I mean, you could do all kinds of really? stuff. Really? Yeah. It really, it really is as far as the imagination will take it. If you want any of these, feel free to take them with you. Dude, these are sick. There's a vase. Summit's a big fan of vases. <laughs> Dude, very cool. I have so many of those. If you just want to, we'll just put them all in a big box and just send them to them. Can you... <laughs> we'll just have all these 3D printed vases. I'm not going to know what to do with half of them. Can you can you adjust the thickness of you the can, model? You can, yeah. So that's something in the splicing program like we used earlier, where that's something that you can absolutely go in and adjust any thickness. And there's also, with especially with like a printer like this, there's what's called base mode, where it actually will do these these much finer and thinner prints. That way yeah. it's not taking all of the filament. But Look that's how still this is. fairly fairly sturdy. Yeah. Like this is like it's it's pretty sturdy. Like you can you can press on it and right. you can see it moves a little bit. But like, I would have to. I mean, I don't want to try and break it. But like, I mean, this is pretty solid. Oh yeah, I'm like kind of blown away. I think 3D printing is sick. Yeah. Oh, and this is okay. So this is like just starting. Like it's it's like making the yep. base, like so the outline. It's creating its little. So what it's gonna do is sell something like this to where it's kind of just gonna give a give a base layer of what it's gonna print inside of. So that's what that is. You can kind of see just just a little bit where it just lays it out and then it goes to the inside and actually starts printing the actual unit. That's so cool. I'll have to get you one, man. Dude, I actually I'm dead serious, I actually want one. Especially for 150 bucks. Well here's the thing, you guys you guys just opened. Yeah. 
You guys just opened. They're already doing the save two hundred fifty. You guys, you guys aren't going to close soon. <laughs> you guys are already sold. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we can't. We, we these literally prices, can't keep these in stock. That's crazy. Hey, hey. Was like, well, helmet. So I've been standing there. I'm not trying to interrupt you or anything. Uh, can you sign the visor and the top? Okay. Well, how are you going to see if I sign the visor? Well, I can always switch it out, but I can't switch out the helmet. Oh, okay. So okay I kind of need it to drive home. Okay. Okay. Well, let me do the side so you can. Oh, dude, that's what's up. Yeah. 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 I'll probably buy a new helmet. And I'm gonna like frame it or something. Sick. Sick. That's so what's up. Nice. Hey, hey can I put this on? Dude, go ahead. Uh, sorry, my gloves are in there. Just take them out. <laughs> well, my head might be bigger than yours. Yeah, that's a medium, but you can try. Just kind of pull out the side because there's like some things. Got the master chief visor you might need a new helmet after this I'm gonna yeah. be honest oh my God. I'm sorry I gotta take that. <laughs> oh sorry there we go wait can I pop this off yes you can you can well you can pop it open from the middle and then there's a switch on your left side as well for like a sorry on the bottom yep right there you can move that what does this do uh if you move that there's a sun visor on the inside that flips down oh sick yeah. This is wicked. Dude, that's sick. What kind of motorcycle do you drive? I ride a Ninja 250 2011. It's the green one out there in the employee parking kind of in the back. Sick. Yeah, thanks, S-Fan. Yeah, dude, no problem. Dude, that's so what's up. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, so how's it going? I'm Cameron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Cameron. What's up? I'm Zach. Hey, nice to meet you, Zach. Nice to meet you, man. Cool. Thank you for coming to Indianapolis, dude. Yeah, yeah I feel dude. like people don't really come to Indianapolis. Dude, this... Indianapolis is cool. It like, is. just just like getting the getting the the lift and driving around. Like, I was like, yeah. This... I don't know why people say there's nothing out here. Dude, this micro center is huge, huge yeah. for us, man. Like, <laughs> just the world of content. Like, I feel like it's not really a lot of people out here doing content stuff. Yeah. So it's nice to see someone like yeah. right here in person. You know, inspiration. So. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I mean, yeah. even Shaq's here. Look. All right. I know. <laughs> Word up. I was gonna ask, I didn't know if you had like any tips, like, uh, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but trying to been for, on, on and off for like streaming and like content creation. For streaming, know? the best advice for streaming I can give, the best way to grow a stream is to not stream. Uh, it's to do like yeah. other, awesome. other stuff, like YouTube, TikTok, yeah. uh, everything else, Instagram. Do that stuff and have it done in a way that relates to what you do on stream so that the the content kind of feeds into that yep. like that way the audiences kind of overlap sometimes some people are better at doing like a different type of content for different types of platforms and sometimes it doesn't like match up right and that's okay let's say you want to stream but you're really good at tiktok mm -hmm. well keep doing your tiktok do what you're really good at on tiktok and then that's how you make your income, most of it. And yeah. then, and then bring that audience over. Yeah, and then you can bring some of that audience over and try and do something else on Twitch, maybe. And it's kind of weird because like you're growing in different directions, but at least it allows you to do what you want to do. Right. Yeah. So that's that's like the two the two options for that. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of what I was gonna say. Like, if you had to restart and kind of just build again, if that's would you focus on like short form content like that and kind of build in? Uh, for me, I was kind of in a unique situation where I was really lucky because. I fit a niche because I started streaming on YouTube. Uh -huh. I fit a niche of there wasn't really a whole lot of people doing vanilla WoW rep palette and stuff. Right. And if they were, they weren't doing it like at a high level. Right. Actually, there was nobody doing it at a high level. <laughs> but. <laughs> so, Paved the way. Not, well, no, not even me. <laughs> no, the thing is, is like whenever I was there, it kind of turned into like me and me and my buddy Dracova, we did a bunch of rep palette stuff together. And then eventually, like, it went from that to doing classic WoW. And it was like, I was kind of like a classic wild guy for a while after I moved to Twitch and everything. And then now it's just, I, I do like literally everything. Yeah. So thank you, man. Yeah, Appreciate dude. it. Of course. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, how's it going How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. I just trying to get photo. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. It's my first time in a micro center. Oh, really? Yeah. First time in a micro center. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Hold up your stream. No, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. That's why we're here. So. Yeah, right. one, yeah, appreciate you, man. Oh, you're so much bigger. <laughs> cool. Good, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, man. We'll see you later. <laughs> oh, oh, here. Can you get a Can you get a look at that? It's been uh, spitting it out. It's uh, true. I do a bunch of like sports stuff. I do a lot of high racing stuff. online. So. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Did you go over That's there my retirement plan. Check yeah, the, uh, just do some eye racing, do some Twitch. Yeah. I started it right in 2020 when I started the perfect time. There you go. Did you go over there and check the rig out? I'm, what, Tony Canons? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. It's super fun.
I got it pretty nice though. Have you have you tried that out since you've been here? No, I, I want to. We gotta get out. you. We gotta get you over there. There's my little rig. That's super fun. Oh, that's crazy! Here, show the camera. Oh, that's nice. That's my son's bedroom after I threw him out. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, he, he hey, time for you to so. move out. I gotta I gotta make a, a racing sim rig. It's probably cheaper having him there though. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Now that you built a store this close, I was going to Ohio all the time. So, yeah, yeah. so now you got this store. I'm really worried now. Oh, yeah. And I got one of these. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah you, you know something keeping it in my front pocket, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah. But I just got here. So, uh, Good meeting you. Yeah, man. of course, of course. Oh, look, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, so, so you said you, you've been streaming, too? No, I don't stream. Oh, just, okay. People stream iRacing when I'm in races all the time. Oh, okay, okay. You know, their Twitch channel come up. But yeah. I just, like I said, I, just, I don't do any streaming. Oh, okay. I'm not that good yet. Yeah, well, maybe someday. I mean, which a lot of the streams I watch, I'm better yeah. than them, so. Hey, well, you know, maybe you get, get yourself a, a nice rig here, get, get the right upgrades, you can do what you can. Well, I, got so. I got a rig just nice up. There you go. I just need the motion thing on the <laughs> Yeah. That's another 10 G. so. There you go. All right, well, good meeting you. Good meeting you. That was great. So I've been to two micro centers. I've been to the Houston Micro Center, and I've been to the Dallas Micro Center. And I know the Dallas Micro Center like the back of my hand. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of, it's kind of odd for me being in a different micro center and like, I don't know exactly where everything is. One of the things that I always do is, is whenever I, whenever I drive home, so I'll drive from Austin to Dallas and then I stop at the micro center in Richardson. There's like this whole area they have for like, like, like streamer stuff, like yeah. content creator stuff. Yeah. We have an entire content creation aisle. Let's go check that out. Yeah, sure. But yeah, no, this is, this is our content creation yeah. aisle. Where, I mean, you've got, you've got your, you know. Your stream decks, your Elgato—I mean, all of your Elgato stuff, so the cam links, the pedals. Yeah. Um, well, you guys got—you guys got like everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys have more than—I uh, mean, you guys have more than the other store. You, yep. you guys are fresh. <sighs> I've got quite a few left. I was thinking about buying like one of four. these. I was actually just thinking about buying one of these. Literally, we were talking about this on stream. Sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up leaving here with empty pockets. <laughs> when I worked at SMU, I was, I was looking at this right here. I'm like, oh, this is we actually cool. had a, our, our guy that ran a lot of like the the production stuff during the games he used a stream deck. Really? People don't realize it's kind of cool. Streamer equipment. It's oh, not yeah. really just for streamers. He used a stream deck to like he had macros and stuff set up through their their uh, through the software. Yeah, and he would just change the different scenes and stuff through there. So it was like. It was funny because I, I started streaming and stuff, and then I came back, and, I, and he was like, yeah, you know, I actually used some streamers. I was like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I got this thing, and he showed it to me, and I was like, dude, that's hilarious. Because, like, you would never think about that. In your head, it's two separate worlds, but all that kind of stuff has multi-purpose. Yeah. This is like the, uh, like, Miz has one of these cameras, and it's like, this is like the good, like, all-in-one, like, I would call this like a, I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm an FX3 enjoyer. So I like the cameras that are big cameras, put a bunch of attachments, hurt my neck. That's like how I do things. This is like the good, like all in one. Like yeah. it's got just everything good for like just entry level, easy stuff, pictures and video. Yeah. I'm a 7B enjoyer. Oh, it's all mine. Yeah, I love this thing. I mean, that's, I mean, literally if you're doing, if you're doing anything, sit down and, you know, you want your voice heard really, yeah. I mean, 7B every day. Yeah, I, I love even, this. I mean, even the, the lower off, the MV7, I mean, it's I, extremely I similar where you just lose a little bit off the top and a little bit of bass, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's Most not, people can't even tell the right, difference. Right, you can't tell the difference. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like, for me, I use I use this. I, I, I love this, this mic right here, but there's like a lot of different options, uh, especially when it comes to like, like Twitch or Discord or... Yeah. Any of that stuff, like a lot of that stuff does get compressed. A lot of times you won't be able to tell the difference at like the really, really high ends. I had a, I had a blue snowball when I first started out. Really? Yeah. That's I, crazy. I like, I like never see people use snowballs. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah. I never see people use snowballs, but like, I, the reason I got a snowball instead of a Yeti was because it was slightly cheaper. So <laughs> that was the reason. But Whatever. there's that much more reverb in it. Yeah, yeah. I love all this stuff, man. All the lighting. Yep. The, that's the thing. My, my setup, the lighting. I need to fix the lighting in my setup. Oh yeah. I have some of these things. Like I have a ring light. I, I have, uh, I have a bunch of these, but I just don't have them set up the right way. I don't think it's a problem. Everybody else does. <laughs> so, oh There's yeah. That boy. The DLZ Creator. So this is that bad boy. This is that digital mixer we were looking yep, at. That's a, the, the, the uh, digital one over there. Yeah. Is there a, a picture of the? Oh, yep. there it is. Awesome. So like for me, here's what I would do. I have. 
a Shore. I have two Shores plugged in here, two Shore SM7Bs, and I have two Sennheiser shotguns, one, one in front of the green screen and one in the back of the room. And then in the other channels, what I have is, um, oh, this is an, oh, okay, so you can have a three and a half input, you can have a USB-C, yep. home screen return, yeah. I feel like anytime you do your audio setup, if you get a new mixer, you have to redo the whole thing and just find a way to make it fit. Because that, that's the good thing with yeah, mine. Yeah, but, it, but the nice thing about it is it's going to be so much more like user-friendly with the digital versus analog. Yeah. My mixer is kind of like, it's, it's like old reliable. Like it's going to work and it's going gonna, it's gonna to do everything that I want it to do. But uh, there could be a better way of doing it. I just don't know what it is yet. Yeah. But something like this could be that. That's one of the things that you get coming in, into a store that you don't get whenever you're buying things online, right? Like, you can research and you can find stuff online, but, like, you know, you come to Micro Center in Indianapolis and you're hanging out with Josh. Josh just, he walks around the whole store and tells you what everything is. And then you make sure to put his sticker on everything so he gets his commission. And you he know? even knows. He even knows. <laughs> hey, I've been to Micro Center a lot. <laughs> Dude, I've, I go to Micro Center sometimes and I know what I'm getting. And, I'm like, I'll go grab it. And I'll go find the nearest person, and I'll be like, hey, you want to put your sticker on this? And the guy's like, my man. We, we appreciate that. <laughs> that's, that's a real one right there. I want to see something with this. So, A10 Mini Pro. So, this is the thing I was just talking about with wanting to set up a switcher with my IRL backpack. If I can find a way to, to come up with mobile power for this, attach it to the backpack somehow, this thing is going to be a monster. Yeah. And I can just boom, boom, insta change cameras, no swapping camera scene. No fumbling. No fumbling, no bumbling. I can even plug in a mic direct to this yep. with three and a half millimeters so that I can have the same audio source. Let's say I have like a lav on, which by the way, this is a cosmetic lav, okay? It's not even working. This is the mic that we're using today. I can even have a lav on connected to this. Swap cameras and it's the audio stays the same. Yeah. So that's pretty sick. It's gnarly. Okay, I'm putting you on the spot here because this is, this is I, I think this would be hard for this is this is one that I probably ha like you have to like get into the nitty gritty and see if you can figure it out. But I know from looking at the back of this on the display mm -hmm. that it was nine to twenty volts. The power that this needed was nine to twenty volts. Let me yeah. look at this again. Nine to twenty volts, thirty watts. So let's see if I can find out, chat. Let's see if I can find out. If I can buy the things that I need to in order to get this power, if I can have it powered mobile with like a D-tap or something, and I can have this plugged in directly to a D-tap battery or like through like a USB splitter and I can have two things plugged into the D-tap or something like that. That's going to blow my mind if we can figure this out. I actually don't expect to be able to do it, but if we can... Yeah, so you can, if you want, you can just... Yes, if we can, I'm, I'm going to be ecstatic. As fan, your 3D print is burning. No, it's not. It's going to, whenever it's done, it's done. So, get the ISO version, you can record camera feeds individually. Yeah, Rydan sent me, sent me a picture of before. He's like, it's actually not that, not that big. And even seeing it in person, I'm like, oh, he's right. The ISO version is $100 more, needs more power. I mean, I guess I don't need to record individually because if I need to record the camera, I would just record it on the camera. It's probably, so, so I probably wouldn't even need the ISO version. It's a good option. So I'll just run with this one. Do we want to look at the 3D printing? I think it's done. Yeah, is it done? It well, I'm an expert now. I already, know, I already know where everything is. Look at that. Oh, oh, they popped it. Oh, what? Dude, this looks good. Yo, this looks so good. Holy, doesn't that look good? Look at how fine this is. Look at that. This looks amazing. And look at the look at the gold they use. The yellow they use, it's like a shiny, kind of like metallic looking gold. You see that? I don't know if they can see it in the, on the camera. Wow, dude, that is sick. I'd buy that printer. Dude, I'm thinking about it. No, I'm serious. Next time, I, I should have shown up with a suitcase. This is, I made a mistake. <laughs> that blows my mind. This took just like, what, like an hour? That's, that's nuts. Yeah. Look how good this looks. That's Wait, print, what? Yeah, that's print, That's what we've been printing out of this one is the articulating cat. Dude, just looking at it, it looks like wood. Kitty. Sick. That's what's crazy to me is the fact that you can print it straight Full up. articulating, yeah. That's wild. Yeah, I'm trying to find a, uh, like a good Shenron. Oh, that would be sick. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, I'm... Oh, nice. He goes all the way oh, up. Oh, yeah, you got your yeah. Dragon Ball? Wait, yeah, someone... do, you have, do you have all of the Dragon Balls? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. So I was kind of, so someone in chat had kind of mentioned it earlier where they came up and told me, like, oh, he doesn't even have all seven. I do. I promise you I do. Nice. Um, they go all the way up where five's here, six is here, and then 
got seven and Gohan oh, up on there my you go. Yep. So are you gonna are you gonna try and get the whole thing colored eventually? It is. Yeah, we just started color a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I was gonna say that, that's probably gonna take yep. so long. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna be a process. Yeah. We started we started the whole piece last November. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it'll no, all I, be colored. I, I love Dragon Ball Z. I was whenever I was a kid, I went to a I was at a Toys R Us, and I was at the I was in the aisle for like the the action figures and stuff, and I was looking at I was looking at Dragon Ball Z stuff, and there was this high school kid that came up to me, and he was like. Do you, uh, do you watch any anime? Okay. And I tell the high school kid, hey, how's it going? Big fan, hi. Yeah, thanks, dude. Big fan. Yeah. Hey, thanks, dude. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I was just telling him, uh, dude. like, this guy came to, uh, yeah, awesome. yeah. this, this high school kid working. is like, it's been hey, for like a month. he's, uh, yeah, do you watch any anime? And I said, I watched, I was like,